So, can you introduce yourself? Yes, sir. First of all, thank you for giving me such an opportunity to introduce myself, sir. Myself, Shivakar Nam, sir. I am from Andhra Pradesh. I have completed my graduation in Bachelor of Sciences in Agriculture in the year 2021. I have learned some of the technical skills such as manual testing, code Java, and automation testing, sir. And uh, I have done a project that is regarding commercial horticulture. And my major strengths are hardworking, smart working, and self motivated. And my major weakness is I feel very disappointed whatever the task which, task which was given by the higher position if it is not done by me. And my short term goal is <coughs> getting a job in a reputed company. And my long term, long -term goal is getting a higher position in a reputed company. And uh, major interest are spending time with friends and also playing cricket, etc. Okay, Thank you, sir. Good. So, can I ask you uh, some important uh, aptitude questions from you? Yes, sir. Okay, very good. So, can you give me uh, what is the 5% of 45? 5% of 45. 5% 5 of 45. Yes, sir. I can explain by using paper and pen, sir. Okay. 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 Thank you, sir. Actually, it is 2.25 percent, sir. Okay. So, can you tell me uh, what is a 0.5 percent of 20? 0.5 percent of 20. Yes. Can I use pen and paper, sir? Okay. Actually, it is 0 0.1. Okay. So, can you tell me uh, what is prime number? Yes, sir. A prime number is 1 which is divided by 1 and itself. So, what is the smallest prime number? 2, sir. Okay, very good. And uh, can you tell me what is the sum of first 10 odd number? It is actually 100, sir. And this can be explained by using a trick, sir. Okay. That is n square. For first 10 odd numbers, we have to use 10 as 10. We have to take n value as 10. Okay. And further, uh, we have to square that and we can get 100. Okay, very good. So, can you give me a, a square of 999 without any pen and paper? So a square of 999. Yes, sir. It is actually 998001. Very good. So, how do you form this answer? Very firstly. Yes, sir. There is a logic uh, in order to find the square root of uh, triple nine. First, we have to. We are finding a square, not a square root. Okay. We are finding a square, square. of nine hundred ninety-nine. Yes. So there is a logic for finding a square of uh, nine hundred and ninety-nine. Okay. First, we have to remove uh, one nine from that. Okay. And we have to add one eight. And we have uh, how many nines are present? We have to keep two zeros. And finally, we have to keep one sir. That is a trick. Okay, so can you give me answer for same trick? What is the 99 square? 9801. Okay, very good. And can you again tell me uh, what is the square of 111 without any pen and paper? Yes, sir, it is actually 12321, sir. Okay, so how will you form this answer? So, in order to find the square of 111, and there is a trick that is uh, we have three ones, no, sir, okay. in that we have to uh, increase for example 1, 2, 3 okay. and then we have to decrease by 2 and 1. Okay, very good. Nice trick. So, can you tell me what is the square of 95? It is actually 9025, sir. 9025. Very good. Please, you have found the answer. Can you tell me the technique? Yes, sir. In order to find the square of 95 and there is a, there is a logic or trick that is, uh, first we have to multiply 5 squares, sir. Okay. And then we have 9. We have to multiply 9 with the other number. The next number, actually it is 10, 9 10 is 90, so that we got the answer as 9025. Okay.
Okay, very good. So with the help of this trick, you can find any number square whose unit digit is five. Yes, sir. Yes, so sir. can you tell me what is the square of eighty-five? Yes, sir. Actually, if I seven two two five sir. Very good. Correct answer. Okay. So can you tell me uh, how many there are uh, total number of two digit is how much? There are ninety, sir. Ninety two digit number two total ninety. Yes. Can you explain how? Yes, sir. And uh, there is also a small trick in order to find. Uh, Total number of two-digit numbers, sir. Okay. Just we have to keep one zero after nine. Okay. So you can find answer of this uh, type of question. So can you tell me uh, how many total number of digit of four digit? How and many total number of four digit number? Okay, sir. By using the same logic only, I am saying the answer that is nine and three times zero. Okay, very good. Correct answer. So you are good in every row. So can you uh, give a seminar? For any uh, topic, yes, sir. Very good. Yes. I would like to give the seminar regarding search and analysis. Okay, very good. So go on board and give the seminar. Okay, okay sir. only for four to five minutes. Okay, sir. okay. Good. good morning, everyone. Today I am going to discuss about the aptitude topic that is search and analysis. Actually, there are four laws in search analysis. They are a power m into a power n is a power n plus n. So we will take an example for this. Two power three into two power two. Actually, this is in the form. Uh, this is in the. This is same similar to this formula. So, so we can apply this. Two power three plus two. Actually, it is two power five. So we can get the answer is thirty two. This is one of the law in search and analysis. And the second law is. A power n by a power n is equal to a power n minus n. So this can be seen by using an example. That is two power four by two power two. That is equal to two power four minus two. That is two two square, and it is actually four. So this is the second law regarding the search and analysis. So now I am going to discuss the third law regarding the search and analysis. A power m whole power n that is equal to a power n n. So this also can be seen by using a example. Actually, two power three whole power square. This is similar to this formula, so that we can do two power three into two is. Six and it is sixty-four. So this is the third law regarding the search and analysis. The fourth law is whenever the bases are same, you have to consider that powers are also equal to same. For example, a power m is equal to a power n. Since the bases are same, we can equal the powers. For example, two power x, x is equal to thirty-two. So we can write this thirty-two as two power five. So what I have told in the last uh, law is, when the bases are same, you can equal the powers. So If I give any question regarding how to find the x in the x in the given equation, since the bases are same, so we we can equal these powers, so we can find out the x easily. And this is regarding the fourth law. 
and these are all the four laws that is mainly required to solve any problem regarding search and indices. Thank you.